Hey everyone, Jose here from Rivian Tracker. Today, we're gonna to be seeing if replacing the standard cabin air filter in the Rivian R1T with a HEPA air filter makes a difference, so stay tuned. All right, you join me here on the hood of my very dirty Rivian R1T with a couple of different things. Number one, we have this anemometer, which we're gonna be using to test out the airflow uh, inside the truck before and after. We have this HEPA air filter that we bought. Um, now, from my understanding, this is gonna be a little bit bigger than the one that comes in the truck, but it should fit very nicely. As of the re this video recording, Rivian does not sell a HEPA air filter replacement. Uh, and if you want to get a replacement normal cabin air filter, you'll have to go through their support team. And then here we have this air quality monitor that I bought, as you can see right now. We have 11.7 parts uh, part, particular matter um, with a air quality index of about 47, which is considered good. And it's about 109 degrees with about 37% humidity currently uh, on the hood of my very black Rivian R1T. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go in the truck, we're gonna go see how everything acts with the standard air filter We'll take measurement of all that, and then uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you how we're gonna replace the air filter. We'll take you through all that, and then redo the test to see if it makes a difference. Most pe uh, you know, I've had a lot of people reach out and say, hey, Jose, a HEPA cabin air filter will restrict airflow a little bit more because there's many more layers in there. And, uh, and, and so I wanna see if that's true and if it really does make a difference. So let's go ahead and jump in the truck. We'll turn the air on to very cold because it is hot out here we'll set it to low we'll set it to high and uh and then we'll uh we'll go from there all right we're inside the truck i'm gonna go ahead and turn the air on as cold as it goes and as high as it goes um i have it so it's gonna get a little loud in here sorry about that ac is on in the back and the front so we're gonna monitor this right now as you can see we're down to 4.4 particular matter, 18 in the index. We'll let that run for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to take this here and let's see how our speeds are doing. So I'm going to put this right here. So we've got 5.3, 5.4 meters per second. So we're right here at this average, we're doing about 5.6 meters per second. So that's good to know. Up here, we're down to 1.9 particulate matter with a air quality index of seven. That's really good. So as you can see, the, uh, the standard Rivian uh, air filter does a pretty good job, actually. Again, like I said, I have everything set to the lowest temperature, high, all the vents are on and running, and that's what we're at. It's steady at seven. So, 5.5 meters per second of air movement and a AQI air quality index of 767. So, Let's jump out of the car. We're going to, I'll leave this in here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, open up the front trunk. I'm gonna show you what you need to do to replace the cabin air filter with a HEPA one and see if it actually makes a difference. And we'll redo this test. The air filter sits right about here. So we're gonna go ahead and take this top plastic piece off. And this is pretty simple. It's just clips that are gonna pop off. So you just pull like this and it comes right off on this side. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Sometimes it takes a little pressure. There you go, pops right up. Once you've got that, all the other clips pretty much come out and you've got this piece. I'm just gonna put this on the floor. You got that piece there. 
Now you're in here, you've got your 12 volt battery stuff in there. You've got a bunch of mechanical. You've got this piece right here. So I'm going to, this pops right out like that. We're just going to set it aside here. No biggie. Now we've got the air filter there. Now this comes right off. It pops right out like this. And then slides out. This is the Rivian air filter. This is, let's see here, the carbon filter. Now, as you can see, they're almost the same size. Let's take a peek. I'm going to put this one on top of it. So, a little bit bigger on one side, but we're going to go ahead and force it in. It shouldn't be an issue to do that. So, let's take a peek here. We want to make sure we follow the airflow. So go ahead and push it in there like that it's hard to do this with one hand guys the me I'm just gonna cut out for a second we'll be right back all right Takes a little jerry rigging to get it in there, but as you can see, it's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up. Boom, there you have it. It's all in there. It's a little tight, but no harm. Now I'm gonna put this back on. This plastic piece comes right here. Kinda just sits right there. Let's go ahead and grab this piece. And again, much easier when you have two hands, but we'll make do. There are some clips that just uh, kind of sit right there. So I'm just gonna pop it into place. Boom, that popped. Let's just make sure this side pops into place as well. Yep, there we go. Beautiful, and then you just gotta press and make sure it goes down. Old filter, I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna go ahead and close the front trunk and uh, let's go ahead and get in the truck and we'll, uh, we'll test out everything again. Again, set to low, highest settings. There's where we are currently. So our last test, showed an AQI of about five. So let's see if it gets even lower. While that's going on, we'll let that happen for a few minutes. I'm gonna take this here and let's measure out our speed. All right, I have it pretty much my hand resting here in the center console. Honestly, it's pulling about the same. 5.4, 5.5 meters per second. So not bad at all. So I'm happy to report that it does not seem like it does restrict uh, the airflow. So that's good. Yep. So that's uh, that's great there. Awesome. Coming back up here. It's gone down a little bit to an AQI of five and six. 1.5 particulate matter. So it's about the same um, as the standard cabin filter. Now, you know, I want to just state for the record that I don't live in a place where we're having uh, air quality index issues right now. I do know that there's many places around the country and the world where Rivian owners are going to encounter really poor to dangerous levels of uh, air quality index. So, uh, you know, there's that, to take that into consideration. I'm, you know, we're, I'm lucky to be living in, in Central Florida where that is not an issue right now. Um, but that being said, um, from the information I'm gathering here, you know, it's hard to determine if a HEPA air filter does make a difference 
Um, the air quality index is just teetering between five and six, uh, which is very good. Anything under a 12 AQI is considered, you know, good uh, and not too dangerous, so that's good. As you can see, it is hot out there. The humidity inside the car is only 19%, so that's, that's nice. 111 degrees is what it's currently measuring out there. I'm seeing the particulate matter drop a little by little. You know, we're gonna let the air, we're gonna let it sit in here for a few more minutes and see if a difference is made. Um, but, you know, at least it's good to know that installing the HEPA filter does not disrupt the airflow coming from the vents, which is good, because on a hot day like today, you don't wanna have less airflow. Um, and so that's good. So at least we know that much. And then in terms of our particulate matter and AQI, um, you know, I'm, I'm, again, I'm seeing that particulate matter drop little by little. So that is good. That is a, that is a benefit. Um, I do think that in a scenario where you are, you know, in a really dangerous air quality situation, there is no harm in buying a HEPA filter like this. Um, I think it's only a positive, to be honest. And so I am seeing, you know, again, the particulate matter continues to drop by a point one, you know, every time. So that's good. So that's make, that, that is, you know, again, proving that this actually does make a difference. Um, it may not make a huge difference. You know, Tesla has their bioweapon mode on their, on their vehicles. And that is a phenomenal feature to have. Um, and, you know, Rivian doesn't really offer that. You know, they, their, their Rivian standard cabin air filter is, you know, just a standard cabin air filter. Nothing, um, nothing out of the ordinary, right? You saw it out there. So um, I went on Amazon, I'll put a link below. Uh, it turns out that there's other vehicles out there that have a very similar size to the, um, the Rivian. Uh, air filter and so as you saw it is a little bit bigger not by much once you push it in the in the in the space you know in the you slide it in all you have to do is just ensure that it is you know fully covered uh, like I did and it was very easy to do and it you know it did a good job so anyways as you can see there 1.2 particulate matter an AQI an air quality index of five very healthy very good. All things, oh, look at that, four. All things considering, you know, outside we measured, it was in the 50. So that is making a, a tremendous difference inside the vehicle. Whether you keep the standard air filter or upgrade to a HEPA filter, um, I think you're good to go. I mean, I think you're fine. If you live, again, I'm just gonna reiterate, if you live somewhere where there's really bad air quality index constantly, whether it's in the northeast right now where we have these Canadian fires, um, it doesn't hurt to spend, you know, 40, 50 bucks to get the HEPA filter and throw it in your Rivian and have it there for good measure. Our particular matter keeps dropping. We're down to one air quality index four. It just, it's only continued to improve slowly. So the air in the vehicle is healthy, it's good. You know, I honestly think this is worth it. So I'll drop a link below to all the items that I use today, including this air quality uh, monitor that I have here, uh, the the tool that I use to measure the speed of wind in the truck. You know, so there you go, about the same four, four point, uh, five point four, right? And I'll drop a link to the filter. Look at that. We are below one particular matter with an air quality index of three. That's phenomenal. Yeah, I'm gonna call this a win. Guys, I'll drop a, uh, I'll drop a link in the bio of this video with everything that I use today. Um, honestly, you can do this in less than 10 minutes yourself. Uh, so I highly recommend you do it. There's no reason why you wouldn't wanna do it. Um, especially, you know, like I said, for 40, 50 bucks to spend on an air filter, 
uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, no reason again, why not to do it. So again, I'll drop links below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I got inspired by a couple of people that posted on social media about it. So, you know, thanks to you guys for, uh, for giving me the idea to do this video, especially, you know, right now where we're living in a, a world where unfortunately, you know, air quality may not be the best in certain places. Uh, this is an easy fix to keep you a little bit healthier in your vehicle when you're driving around. And especially when you take your Rivian um, out there and, you, and use it for adventuring. So anyways, thanks again for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, ring the bell for notifications if you're on YouTube. Appreciate it. Bye guys.